Political rookie Emmanuel Macron is leading the polls and tipped to be France's next president. Et nous allons gagner. Vive la République. Vive la France. The 39-year-old's meteoric rise has shaken the political establishment while also being its last hope. His centrist, pro-European, open border views stand in stark contrast to the rising voices of Europe's resurgent far right. This is how Macron's unabashed ambition drove him from star pupil to banker to political rebel and now the hot favorite to lead France. Macron was raised in the town of Amiens, two hours north of Paris. This is the house he grew up in. The eldest of three children from a family of doctors, he attended the Jesuit school. A precocious kid, he preferred the company of teachers to other pupils. And it was at school that he met his future wife. Brigitte Ozier was coach of the drama club. They worked closely together to rewrite a school production. He was 16, she was 40, and married with three children. Gossip about their relationship began to spread. And Macron left Amiens to finish high school at an elite establishment in Paris. Ozier followed later to teach. The pair married when Macron was 30. After school, he attended university in Paris, studying philosophy, then went to the prestigious National School of Administration, a breeding ground for the French elite. He worked for four years as an inspector at the Ministry of Economy, before moving to the renowned investment bank Rothschild. Macron was quickly parachuted into managing a massive acquisition. Nestle has agreed to buy Pfizer's infant nutrition business for almost $12 billion. When the deal went through, he got a big payout. Then in 2012, Macron was offered a position working for the new president and a personal friend, Francois Hollande. Two years later, Hollande gave him the prestigious position of Minister of Economy. He was 36. But by now, Hollande's public approval rating had fallen to historic lows. Macron threw himself into a plan to loosen economic regulation with testy exchanges in Parliament. But the reforms were disliked and the legislation had to be forced through Parliament, sparking violent protest. Macron increasingly criticized the government, but still enjoyed the president's support. Then, last year, he launched his own political movement en marche, or on the move, thrusting him into the national spotlight. He's really come out of nowhere. You know, three years ago, Emmanuel Macron was barely known to the general public. Uh, and here he is today on the verge of becoming president. That's Mark Dean. I'm a deputy bureau chief at Bloomberg News in Paris, and I'm on the campaign trail with Emmanuel Macron. The youthful contender was seen as a presidential long shot. When he started his movement, everyone, you know, including many journalists, including myself, said, oh, well, you know, that's pretty cute. And it's a, it's a nice effort, but, uh, you know, he's not going to be president. But borrowing from U.S. President Barack Obama's election playbook, he took to social media and ran a large grassroots campaign. By the time France went to the polls for the first round of voting in April, he had successfully reinvented himself. Hello to everyone. He was no longer the failed reformer working under a failed president, but a new voice in politics. Pourquoi je suis terriblement optimiste aujourd'hui? Parce que je sais, en vous voyant, en observant notre mouvement, que nous réussirons, oui, que nous réussirons à rassembler les Français et à réconcilier les France. He secured the most votes of any candidate in the first round, putting him into a runoff with another political outsider, the far-right Marine Le Pen. Still, it's not all smooth sailing into the Elysee Palace. Macron has many critics on both sides of the political spectrum. But against a far-right candidate who wants to leave the EU, will voters on the left and the right swing behind Macron? The answer is that polls currently show that that is what will happen. However, you know, this election is not over. Abstention is key and anything can happen. We've, we've seen it with Brexit, we've seen it with Trump.